So this is Dick Prennicky. In 1968, he was 51 years old. Well, he looked like he was 70, but he, was, he loved nature and he decided to move to Alaska. He had been there before, but this time he was going to spend a whole year there and do everything like very off the grid. He also planned to film the experience so that he could share with his family. So to me, this basically is the first blog. And I, I haven't seen the whole thing. You're welcome to buy it here. I uh, always plan to. I'm surprised I'm not doing it right now. But either way, this film, and me just knowing about this film, I guess, is an inspiring factor of 555. The shots and the voiceover. This would be a useful pounding, too. They're very direct. They're very informative. And how fast he connects to himself and explains himself makes it almost poetic in every, every way. Would I love the isolation then, with its bone-stabbing cold, its ghostly silence? At age 51, I intended to find out. He's clearly filmed before, too, not to mention built some cabins and stuff. This man is on an adventure, and this man is very eloquently riding a wave of revelation. The whole experience reminds me of when I was in a TV writing class once. One student asked if she should move to L.A., and the teacher said yes. And she said... I remember, not necessarily because that's where the TV industry is. You should move to L.A. because you have a passiveness inside of you that is telling you you shouldn't go to L.A. And if you continue listening to that passive voice, you will be leading a passive life. And since everything you write is a reflection of you, you will write passive characters. So move to L.A. and write a story about someone interesting. And when you accept that adventure and take on the challenge of change, you'll know you were right all along. And in your vlog, you might write something as simple and poetic as this. It was a great feeling, free once more to plan and do as I pleased. Beyond was all around me. My dream was a dream no longer. I suppose I was here because this was something I had to do. Not just dream about it, but do it. I suppose, too, I was here to test myself. Not that I had never done it before, but this time it was to be a more thorough and lasting examination. What was I capable of that I didn't know yet? 